Sani Bonani guys and welcome to another video. Now in this video I quickly wanted to talk about Muse Kaula's recording studios. Okay. So if you guys will remember um a few months back he had said to um Owami he was coming to the YouTube and that he was going to have studios. Um he was going to do his videos on studio at at a studio and he did not respect Owami because she did her videos at the comfort of her own home. In her office, I think in her home. Right? And then yeah, there was this whole beef when um he actually did start doing youtube and wami said that um the studio that he records at looks like a back room of some sort that wasn't entirely a lie it was true to some respect I mean, it was a fair it looked fair like it looked, it looked okay for someone starting off on youtube but because he had gassed it up a bit we're also just like fam but it's not as spectacular as you said it was going to be so in his videos you can only see like the part of the couch and the flower it, behind him if i'm not mistaken and then there's the screen right and then there's the sign allegedly there i'll try to find a picture of, of all that but um i saw this video um um i did a video that i was explaining the whole um podcast and chill and ayanda and um i mean aya and mesh drama and that they'd actually went to work for musa kaula it looks like they're currently working for musa kaula right so i saw on maligan media i think it's now ran or owned by omesh who who looks like he's not part of um the group he was with before and in that it like it was the whole studio zaga musaka i think he did it on purpose actually um because it's not longer part of the podcast so he was like this is where i'm at this is where i'm working now so please support it because i'm working there i think that's what he was trying to say um and it looked it looked okay it it does give backroom vibes like it looks like batoli garage somewhere or a backroom somewhere by paint um it could potentially be like an actual studio but it wouldn't be like high-end studios if you know what i mean if it is a studio then probably it was just a, an empty building that um he bought the furniture the table there and the couch and then installed the screen honestly it looks fair for someone that is starting out and is doing like it's a workspace it looks like you work there but um yeah i'll put the video and you guys tell me what you think in the comment section do you when you're looking at like the whole place then in the videos that he does do you think it's um do you think it matches up to what he said about how his studios would look or do you think it is a bit of a disappointment i thought um like it's okay but it does give like strong backroom vibes i'm not gonna lie about that um but yeah please let me know what you think in the comment section i'll put the video in the end please hit like if you like the video hit subscribe if you want to hear more from this channel uh but yeah that is it for this video guys until next time